Mm-mm-mm. FIFA, FIFA, FIFA. Some corruption going on. Hmm. Now, before you see this video and you say, oh, it's just some soccer hater offering his opinion on things, just hold on a second because I have some things that are going against the, the, the common trend of things here. Now, when I saw things like the country of Qatar get awarded the World Cup, uh, two World Cups from now after Russia, I said to myself, that's awfully peculiar. Why did such a, a small nation like that that, you know, I don't know, I don't, I don't hear about them making much noise in the soccer world. I know they're, you know, a pretty proficient soccer nation. But I was like, I was like oh, they, they got a tremendous amount of oil wealth there. They influenced people. They bought their way in. Duh. And I know little to nothing about FIFA and the world of soccer. And even I had a full understanding that bribery make, made this world go round. Like, this is no surprise at all to me that the Justice Department here in the United States is, um, I think it's 12 to 15 FIFA members that are being indicted for racketeering, bribery, wiretapping, a number of charges. Now, I want to say... All the stuff that they're being charged with is very illegal and they deserve to be punished and all that. But it also makes me say, what is this exactly the U.S.'s business? Like, what? where does the U.S. fit into all this? Oh, because the U.S. was snubbed and they should have been the host country instead of Qatar or Russia or whatever? That makes it kind of look like America is the sore loser upset, like, oh, oh we're tired of getting burned, so, so we're going to bring down the whole system. Now, granted, it's nice that America's doing this because, one, they are bringing down the whole system, and the whole FIFA system is going to have to change. It's going to have to have a, a ethics cleansing, not an ethnic cleansing, not to be confused with that. That's, wow. Anyway, an ethics cleansing, where... It's going to have to be scrubbed from top to bottom, and chicanery like this can't happen again. And it, it just goes to show you, and you know, I'm, I'm a person that's always a big believer in corruption just makes the world go round, on top of what I said before about just saying makes the FIFA world go round. And stuff like this doesn't really surprise me, and the amount of attention and publicity and everything I'm getting out of this, and... And it, it's it's kind of smearing soccer as well with a lot of people. And to that, I would say, like, what really... And again, I don't care about soccer. What did this really do to the game? Like, what, what this didn't do anything. It's it's not like there was some big undercover movement to, to give, you know, Ill illegal PEDs to all the athletes and then doctor their urine tests to make it look like they passed. Like, there was this big scheme to do something like that. Like, this was just, you know, corruption that basically decided advertising priority and, and host countries. Now, granted... It sucks that a country like America gets snubbed because that's, in essence, hundreds of millions of dollars of tax of, of um, tourism revenue that's lost. But in the grand scheme of things, is it going to kill America if Qatar gets it over them? I mean, do we really need to have the World Cup in here to be, you know, a prosperous nation? Like, in the grand scheme of things, I go, I go no, not really. And eventually it will come back to America because... You can only keep giving it away to these bribed nations so long before it catches up to you and bites you in the ass. And that's what happened here. That's what happened here. It's like, okay, first it was Russia, and then it was Qatar. Now, uh, something doesn't seem right about this. Something doesn't seem right. Now, we all know that there's bribery behind the scenes, but things are getting too damn obvious right now. And that's where the American Justice Department stepped in and said, hey, we're going to catch these guys red-handed. Supposedly, there's, there's, there's money being handed out at meetings and hotel rooms and stuff like that. And just, uh, well, a lot of it's rumors right now, so I don't want to speculate on the specifics of the chicanery that went down. That, that's two chicaneries in one Archfiend video. My God, you ain't going to see that ever again. I'm going to make sure to save my next video now twice. Anyway, um, this, is, this, is, this is really just so interesting and fascinating to me. 
And again, it, it really shouldn't be. And if there's a soccer fan out there that was surprised by this, like, could you could you tell me why you were surprised? Like, did you really think that your sport was that clean cut and honest? And granted, I'm not going to say, you know, my favorite sport of, of the National Football League is clean cut and honest. Obviously, there's a lot of shit behind the scenes that, you know, makes the world go around. I wouldn't be surprised if the exact same thing happens for Super Bowl venues being picked, if there's some sort of buttering of bread of the commissioner behind the scenes. But, yeah, I just, I, I don't really see why this is really that big of a deal. Like, yeah, I granted, it's, it's a multi-billion dollar company in FIFA that took over a hundred and fifty million dollars and distributed them, excuse me, accepted it in bribes. Now, I, I agree, that's, that's a dickhead thing to do when your company's already making billions of dollars. You're going to be at the balls to take hundred and fifty million dollars in bribes? Yeah, I, I get it. And what, you, you, you should be caught and punished for that, but it's like, you know, what, what really happened here other than the blatantly obvious? Like, that's all I'm saying is like, I, I can only be upset about something that is so blatantly obvious. It's like all of a sudden a videotape showing OJ killing Nicole Simpson and, and Ron Goldman. I'd be like, uh, well, duh. Like, uh, who, who didn't doubt that? Okay, except for a few of you. Anyway, I don't know. I, 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 I find this thing unique on so many levels. So many people are like, oh, oh it's going to tarnish tarnish the innocence of the game of soccer or football, as you the rest of the world would say. But I'm like, you know, it didn't really do anything. It's not like... You know, Brazil got to host the World Cup last year and it, it put Germany at a severe disadvantage to the point that they, they won playing in a completely different continent on the other side of the world, on the other opposite hemisphere. Anyway, as someone who doesn't really care about soccer, I think this whole story is getting just, just blown way out of proportion. Now, granted, I... It's, it's an unprecedented amount of bribery from a company like this. But again, it's like, I, I just assume this stuff was going on. I mean, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't surprise me at all. And that's the one thing I take away from it. It, it. If it didn't surprise me that much, I can only be so offended by it. I don't know. Whatever. What do you guys think? That's why I make these videos, to hear the lovely words from you guys, which often include... Die faggot, you live in your parents' basement, and jump off a cliff into a bed of crocodiles. As opposed to a river of crocodiles. Sometimes it's either or. Anyways, have a good day, everyone.